I feel like I shouldn't have to explain what a shower fruit is. However, my girlfriend refuses to acknowledge ever having heard of one before. The concept of not having a shower fruit is just weird to me, since they've been present in every shower I've ever been in. But hey, let's clear it up in case I'm the one in the wrong. See, when you get into the shower, a single thick root appears out of the drain, going across your foot and up the opposite wall. In the evenings, usually after 9 p.m., a single ripe fruit will bloom from the tip of the root, at around chest height. Only the root appears in the mornings as the fruit isn't ready, and when you turn your shower off, the root then recedes into the drain silently, without a trace. The fruit is normally an everyday fruit, you know, strawberry, apple, pear, whatever. It's different every day, it doesn't seem to be any kind of rhyme or reason to it. I don't know, maybe there's a pattern to the fruit that appears, but I can't say I've ever paid attention that much. Anyway, I wolf it down, even if it's my least favorite fruit in the world. I'm sure you all know the saying, a shower fruit a day keeps the doctor away, and it shows. I'm pushing 30 and I've never been sick. Apart from that one week I went camping and didn't have access to a shower. Of course, as soon as I got home, I showered straight away, ate my fruit, a whole melon this time, went to bed and felt right as rain the next day. Anyway, it surprised me that my girlfriend was so adamant that she had never heard of it, as she's a gardener, so surely she must know how to care for and maintain all shower fruits. So I googled it for her to show her a picture, and nothing. Just a bunch of inventive fruit arrangements and the best snack to eat in the shower, so... I feel like I'm just going a little crazy, and I was told that this was a sub for the weirder situations in life. As I'm sure you know, normally, you get a different fruit every day, but at the beginning of last week, I got uh, a new fruit. I described it to my girlfriend, and she said it sounded like a mulberry. It's a weird-looking fruit, but I ate it and thought nothing of it. The next day, I got a white mulberry with little black seeds in it. And it was after this that things got strange. Yesterday, I got the same plant. A white mulberry with black seeds. But this time, the seeds were... moving. At first, I thought I was seeing things, but when I swayed my head back and forth, the seeds moved and maintained some odd sort of eye contact with me. Honestly, they started looking like little eyes. It, obviously, I wasn't going to eat some weird eyeball fruit, but when I turned the shower off, the root wouldn't let me go. I picked the fruit, hoping to trick the root, but it still didn't withdraw. Suddenly, my ankle was on fire. I looked down, and what looked like a little fire ant things were climbing all over me, biting my feet and ankles, slowly making their way up my legs. I think... I think... they were fire ants or something like that, because that's what they looked like, but... they were blue, and... fire ants don't usually appear in the United Kingdom, but... The ants must have been poisonous as a dull ache started in my stomach, getting worse and worse. Within two minutes, I was coughing up blood. So, to save my life, I ate the fruit. Normally, the shower fruit is lush, and juicy, and, well, delicious. This was... not. It, it tasted like vomit, and burned my throat like whiskey after I swallowed it. It burned my stomach instantly counteracting whatever poison the blue ants had bitten into me. The pain immediately faded. The texture of the fruit was wrong. 
I can't think of a better description than that it felt like what I would imagine a moldy, slimy cucumber to feel like. I shuddered involuntarily, which dislodged the ants, which seemed to evaporate as they fell, turning into little droplets of liquid. The liquid hit the root and sizzled, and the great vine thrashed, smashing my tile, tripping me over before slithering back down the drain, leaving a huge trail of dirt behind. I was hoping that that was the end of it. Or that it was all a strange dream or something. It's hard to accept when something so normal goes so very, very wrong. But today I woke up to a consistent buzzing noise. I followed it to the bathroom and the room had been overgrown. The drain has been cracked and stretched with huge tree-like roots growing from it with bright red fireflies buzzing around the huge cavern. A canopy of white fruits clung to the ceiling, now fully embedded with ever-watchful eyes, focusing on my every step. As I inched toward the old shower, I looked in the gaping hole, expecting to see my kitchen below, but there was nothing but blackness. I hurried out of the room, but there's no sign of anything abnormal in the rest of the house. I know it sounds impossible, but it's true. I think I'll need to go down the tunnel to see what happened to my plant. But I don't think it wants me to. I can already see thousands of blue ants starting to creep under the bathroom door. <laughs>